Hi guys, we're gonna make a little art magic today with what is called a wax resist. And we're gonna make the start of our Smoky Mountain balloon ride with a little, um, this top part with our sunset peeking over our, our sunrise peeking over our mountain. That's gonna be what we're gonna be working on today. You're gonna start out with a piece of paper that has kind of a weird fold at the top, and that's just gonna help us to know where our sunrise is gonna be and where our mountains are gonna be. So the first thing, of course, that we always have to do is write our name. And um, if you put it on the back, you won't have to keep rewriting it. So you could put it at the bottom, but um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start out with the wax part of our wax resist which is just a normal crayons. And we're gonna draw a little sun peeking over the top. And it's gonna be coming above the mountain. So you don't want your sun in the corner. You want it, you can have it anywhere along this line, but you're going, and you can choose any color. And you can choose how big or how small your sun is, but you're going to, um, just draw a sun, and if you want to think about the rays that are coming off of it, there are a lot of different ways to draw rays. Like on this sun, I don't have any rays. You see, I have a sun and a cloud. On this sun, I have a big sun and rays that are kind of in bursts coming off. I'll try something different on this one. I'll do kind of a scalloped ray coming off and then maybe maybe I'll even use the white to add some more. So whatever kind of detail you do, you can go for it. You can add some clouds. Clouds are really fun because you can't really see them with the white on the white and they'll just show up later. You can decide if you, you know, you can color them in. Um, so I'm going to color these in. The part where the wax is, that's where the paint will not stick. Now it is kind of tricky to color in a fluffy cloud and um, be able to see. So I'm going to try doing a few wispy clouds just by you look out into the sky a lot of times this the clouds are just kind of like little streaks of white going through so I'm gonna draw some of those so we looked at the pictures of the sunrise coming out and a lot of times it starts with the yellow Ooh. if you're the first one using it you'll need to add water to the watercolor palette and I'm going to start with my yellow I'm gonna just add a little more water to that I'm gonna go ahead and paint it straight over my sun. And a lot of times um, after the yellow, there's um, orange, an orange glow. Sometimes you could do just orange and yellow. You could have a little red coming through there, glowing off of that. You could have, um, sometimes there's purple, sometimes there's blue sky. You guys are the artists, so you're gonna decide what does your sun look like as you're flying in your hot air balloon above the Smoky Mountains. When you're done with this part, you're going to carry it with two hands carefully over to the drying rack to dry. When I call you up for your turn at the splatter paint station, that's right folks, splatter paint, um, you are going to make sure that you have a green strip of paper with your name on it and flip it over to the back. When you're splatter painting, this we have some watery paint, um, this will be fun, however, you have to practice some self-control because we need to keep it on the paper and our placemat and not on our friends or our friends placemats or anything like that. So you're going to choose yours and um, 
if you can tell, I'm just kind of giving not a huge, like I don't want to go whack, whack, whack like that. I'm just giving a slight flick of my wrist and that is what keeps it in control. So you can try both colors that are back there. Um, and if you, if you want, you could do some dabs like that. Or if you just want to do the splatter paint, since this is something we normally don't get to do, then um, go for it. Oh, look, that works really well. So I'm just tapping it with my other hand. Ooh, that works lots better. And try that with the other color. And you just want to layer a decent amount on your tree and then it will be or these are going to be our tree papers that we're going to rip to make trees um, so you're going to you know give it a decent amount and then when you're done or when I tell you you're done then we'll switch and somebody else will have a turn this is going to also get carefully put in the drying rack 